rich codes for a fuel trim. What else can cause those besides what we talked about with the hands-on demonstration? A faulty mass airflow again, this time contaminants on the intake air uh, element of the sensor can make it think that it's actually a little bit colder than it really is, so we spray more fuel. PCV valve, this time being plugged up, not being the proper calibrated vacuum leak it's supposed to be. EGR valve stuck open or the exhaust camshaft in a position for variable cam timing that does internal EGR, doing the same job of EGR, staying advanced, sorry, retarded I should say, so we have EGR when we shouldn't have EGR. So that's gonna dilute our fresh air and make it richer, and that's gonna cause 172, 175 code. Diluted engine oil. Anytime you're gonna have a PCV system pulling crankcase vapors, if those crankcase vapors of oil also have a bunch of gasoline from the drippy injector or some other issue got gas in the crankcase, you'll have the rich codes. Vacuum controlled pressure regulator. We talked about the pressure regulator, maybe the wrong pressure, but it also can just be the rupture. And anybody who's worked on cars for more than a week, I think, has seen this where you have the good old fashioned fuel rail with the return line and the vacuum operated pressure regulator and the little vacuum hose. You pull it off, you take the hose, you tap it in your palm, some fuel falls out. Bing, that is a rich mixture, and that's a code 172, 175 waiting to happen. Those are just as common as can be.